Welcome back to my YouTube channel, OMG. My hair is so matted and tangled, y'all. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm using for my hair and what I'm gonna do to fix this matted, tangled hair. Ah, uh, yes, I'm so sorry. I haven't did a video, a natural hair, curly girl video in a while. I've been so hooked on my other channel. If you don't know about my other channel, it's right there. Check it out. It's all about fashion and electric cars. But let's get into this because my hair needs some TLC. So I want to show you guys the before and after. As you see, it's matted and tangled up right now. So we're going to get it started. <laughs> going to see what I'm going to put in my hair, how I'm going to detangle my hair, the minimum of shedding that I do, and the routine that I'm doing to get this length and this volume of hair. I've been waiting some time to show you guys my length, and yes, it's like past my chest. Well, you'll see. Once it's wet, you know how it grows, all that shrinkage. I have a lot of shrinkage. And it's so strange because I totally changed my gel. I'm going to tell you guys the gel I've been using, and it's like... I. I I don't think it's helping the growth, but it's maintaining the curls. So let me start the water and jump in there. Oh, if you like my Gucci swimsuit, it'll be on my other channel. I always talk about all the name brand luxury items. Yes, with the fashion hauls, they're all on my other channel. So you know I always start off my wash day with using Kinky Curly. I don't know, something about the Kinky Curly just makes my wash day so much easier. But today, I think I have a little bit of time just to finger detangle, you know, throughout like that. That's a hot mess. You know, just a little bit because my goal is to maintain my hair length, be gentle as possible. Oh, snap. There's no weave in here. It's just all natural, you guys. But... You just really take the time out. It's very dry, cause it's dry. So we gotta get this, we gotta get this going. So I'm just gonna slightly finger detangle my hair and it's just gonna help my wash day be a little bit better. Sometimes I do apply some kind of oil, oil, or grapeseed oil, or flaxseed oil. My hair does not like coconut oil, but oils. <laughs> I'm sorry you guys, I'm doing a lot of talking, but I have so much to say because I have to catch you guys up with everything. So yeah, it's gonna be a lot of talking, my bad. I will make it as sexy as possible. But the truth is, I've been doing the sea moss. That sea moss right there, y'all, that's a video all about it. That sea moss is really, really helping, improving my hair. My edges are fuller now. My eyebrows are getting thicker. My lashes are finally coming back from extension lashes. Like I'm seeing a big difference with my health, just my skin, just everything. I just feel so much better taking that sea moss. So for number one, I take that sea moss. Uh, my hair vitamin is right there. And uh, I think that's the only big change. It was the hair vitamin and the sea moss as I've been taking, you know, internal. But we gonna talk about externals. All right, this is what the Kinky Curly Knots today looks like. I just realized they launched a whole new line and I cannot wait to try it out. But this is the Kinky Curly. That's, it, it actually says a leave-in detangler, you guys. And this is for curly girls with natural hair. I love this. I just hate the bottle so small. But this is affordable. It's like 11 or $12. So I'm still using the Shea moisturizer black jamaican castor oil shampoo i am going to switch over and start using more of the olaplex because over time i think this does dry it out and i did my research because a lot of other tiktoks been telling me and stuff basically it's because it has like jamaican black castor oil uh shea butter and some other oils and stuff so it's sealing the hair so much that the water and the moisture can't get in the hair you know what i'm saying I don't know what I'm saying, but anyway, it's really good to put the oils on after when your hair is wet because then, then it like seals the moisture in the hair. But if you put it in the beginning before you wash it, I realized with mine with the low prosody hair, it kind of doesn't allow the water and the moisture to really get sink in the hair. So as far as I know right now, I'm going to continue using it a little bit longer until I save up my coins and get that old box. 
Speaking of that Olaplex, so this is the Olaplex bonding. I still use this, but I use it only maybe like two times a month. <sighs> I do like it. It's a love and hate. I hate the price. I hate the size. And I really don't know if it's working or not, but everybody I know that's using it is getting good results. So I'm just going to be patient and continue using it. But it's, it is the five. Bagogio, Bagogio, I always say it wrong. Bagogio? Anyway, this is the, the icing on the cupcake, the honey sweet kiss on the forehead. Like this one right here, the deep conditioner, don't spare, repair. This I really love. Like instantly when I place, I can't talk now. Instant, instantly when I apply it on my hair, I see like, a change like just instantly it's not like something you see over time I see it right away makes my detanglers great I mean it's easy to detangle I really like it and I see why it gets awards and stuff really like this one the only downfall is again I don't want to like over treat my hair with too much conditioner I still want it to have its elasticity I don't want it to break off and be too soft so you kind of want to keep the balance and it's because I do a lot of DIYs you guys know I got a little DIYs up there and I still do them and I gotta get back into it again okay what's hidden gem on my shelf is Patton yes Patton is doing really well for me right now I'm just not in love with the smell too much but I love the thickness, I like the amount that I get, and I like the curls, what it does to my curls. Uh, it's not too much I can really say about it. I haven't really used it as often as I did the Olaplex, so that's just something I'm like trying out. It's I think it's been a month and a half or two months now about using that. All right, another little baby that was hiding, Olaplex 3. I do like this one, as you see, there's not much left. The Olaplex is doing really well. I think I want to invest and get more Olaplex. So this is the three. It's for repairing and actually straighten all hair ties. My hair is not straight, but it helps. I notice when I use this, it helps the frizz a little bit. I haven't straightened my hair in a year, but I notice if I do use this, it does help that frizz. That's like foaming up on top, you know? Eh. I mean, I guess I'll show this one to you guys. I still use the As I Am Classic Coconut Wash. I don't use it as a coconut wash. I use it more as a conditioner, a leave-in conditioner. But uh, this was the number one seller, you know, some time ago. And I know their packaging and design is a lot different now. But I still use this. I like to still keep it in the mix. But my go-to that I love is the As I Am Temporary Gel. Like it's a coloring gel as you see in some of my footage. My hair is like blonde, it's brown. I'm not using color, like no more color you guys. Just have fun with these temporary washout colors. Yes, it gets on your pillow. Yes, it gets on your clothes. Yes, it gets on things. Does it smell good? Yes. Does it really last? No. Does it damage your hair? <laughs> not really. Not as much as real color hair dye. It probably damages your hair as like using a really bad gel. I guess that's the only thing I can compare it to because it is like in a form of a gel. I specifically love it. It only lasts for me as long as four days, but I only apply like in the front for highlights. I do have some of it in my hair right now. The honey golden blonde. So it looks something like this. It's about eight or nine dollars. Get it from Sally's, Target. They have red, blue, purple. I fell in love with this one because it's more like a natural, you know? So we're almost there, you guys. I have a couple more products that I really want to talk about that I've been using. We're going to jump right into more of the products that's been making my hair grow. I don't know how to pronounce it that well, but I'll put it on the screen, the name of it. So this one, you know how I was always doing the fermented rice water? Well, I fermented rice water my hair too much. It made it so hard, it broke out. Like, don't do it too much, don't do it overload. Understand your hair, know when it's appropriate time to do it and know when it's not to do it. So I bought this, it was a bit expensive. It's a leave-in conditioner, but it has 
the fermented rice water, all those little cool secrets. Like so much information to tell you about this. But if you want me to do a separate video talking about this brand, I can. So it's these two. They're the same company. And this is from Sephora. And these are very expensive. We're talking about like $40 to $60 per bottle. This one is a scalp serum, like massage kind of thing. I put it in my head at night. And I put way more than what it says. It says like two or three drops, like please. You push this button right here. And then you goes in here. Then you just squirt it in different parts of your hair. This is glass. Nice packaging. So I have been seeing a change, a, well, a notice for my hair using this. I don't use it often because it was so expensive. It just says it helps clarify your scalp, hydrate it, and you'll see definitely results. It helps hair growth. It just really helps the state of your scalp, basically that's where the hair is going to come from. So I put a lot in the front area because I wanted my edges to be a lot longer. As you see, they're still kind of, you know, they're matted up. I can't really show you right now, but yeah. So I'm going to get it in the water, wash my hair. And then after that, I'm going to show you guys the styling gels and all that good stuff that I've been using and the stuff behind me. Ignore that stuff because I don't use it so much. <laughs> Again, I hope you guys love this video. I used to love doing videos like this, but I didn't know if you guys were really feeling my vibe. So please leave comments down below if you miss my energy or, or my hair tips or they've been working for you or what you've been have doing. You know, keep, keep me in the mix. You can DM me there. Tell me what's been going on with you, what kind of hair problems you're going through. Maybe I can help you. That's the whole purpose of this channel. So what video would you guys like me to do next? Are you dealing with breakage? Hair is just not growing. Yes. Like what state is your hair at? What do you need the most help with? Uh, are you not getting the results that you want? Are you just over it of being curly hair and curly girl? You just want to start straight and go back to wigs and weaves? Like you gave up hope? Like, what issues are you guys really having with your hair? I really want to know down below because maybe I can, like, come up with something that can really help you guys. What's helping me, I'm kind of embarrassed to say it, but as you see on my channel, it's everywhere, is the onion juice. Yes, like, I've really seen a real big difference using the onion juice. I hate to say it, but the research of it, it's real. It really helps. It really works. And I definitely use it quite often.
you guys, I never tell you guys this, but it actually took me almost seven minutes, pretty much, just brushing my hair in the water. I just let the water detangle. That's my trick to maintain length, you know what I mean? You see that? Just to like put that kinky curly in the hair, let it sit for a little bit, and just part it. Part it with your hand, just a little bit, because I fast speed the video, so that's why I'm just taking the time to guys get some understanding make sure you're not missing any tips so you can get the full results and get long hair growth like I did within a year and a half, like for real. This is like my hair was shoulder length and now it's like tripled in length because I'm really maintaining my hair length, you know? And my diet and a couple other little things going hand, but it's really like if you're brushing and doing a bunch of stuff to your hair, you're just gonna pull it out, tight rubber bands, tight braids, tight weaves, all that stuff, so just like, less is better and other cultures that have straighter hair they don't be doing a lot of like things to their hair and that's why they do have long hair all of our hair still grows the same it's just who i don't want to say who takes care of it because we do take care of our hair the best of our knowledge but now we just have to be a little bit more light-handed a little bit more softer to our hair that's all that's all and just buying the right products it's a lot of products out there it's not good for our hair and then knowing what brush so just brushing it for seven minutes in the shower with the kinky curly this is the minimum of shedding that I had not much pretty good I think that's pretty good now the only downfall is I still got some knots left but this is a good start like this is where, this is the state I want to apply the shampoo because it's going to get even more drier and then start doing my treatments. But at least I prepped the hair enough. If I didn't do a little treatment and a DIY, at least I prepped it enough for a good wash day. Now it's like, you see, so that's, that's cool. So like, see how it's not sliding through still, but it's still tangled, but it's manageable. So this is a Demi brush. Patton has one too. Uh, this one I got off of Amazon. I believe they're like they run from 15 to 20 dollars You can get a, a really cool Demi brush for only three dollars at Sheen I recommend that that was my first one and then I upgraded and got this one, but I got this because the cool colors so Yeah So I just want to show you guys my length before I put a bunch of product in it Like you see how it's puffing up so quick so I do need an oil treatment or something or like a deep conditioner because it should not be getting dry that fast like look at that like this is pretty much almost dry it's crazy hair don't hold no moisture so it's time to shampoo that nasty stuff coming out of it is because i put some oil in it <laughs> i put some extra like olive oil in my shampoo I'm gonna really like go to the scalp too much. I'm gonna go more around my edges and where I place that temporary as I am hair gel, kind of more in the front. Because my back is pretty clean, it just has a little bit of gel, but that would rinse out. But I put a lot of product in the front of my hair, I guess, because I always wanted to lay down or not to go in my face, you know, because I don't have layers or anything but a good massage that's good oof feels good you guys I never really apply shampoo midway to the bottom of my hair. The oldest part is my hair because it's the driest, it's the damaged, and it doesn't really need a bunch of shampoo. That's just gonna strip the natural oils and just make it more harder. So it'll naturally get clean through the water of it passing through. But my main focus is more on the top and around the perimeter of my head. <laughs>
temperature. Now I don't have a perm or a relaxer in my hair. Right now it's time for the old plus bonding. and three in there you guys I brushed it out slightly I'm gonna actually let it sit for 15 minutes so I'm just closing in a slight bun you don't see an instant when you use Oplex like it doesn't feel special right now but it just makes my 
wash days last longer like my hair my curly hair I last longer I notice when I use it and I do see like uh, less breakage so to look at the minimum shedding now it's not much at all you can barely see it so I'm gonna let this sit in my hair put a little bag on top and then get to rinsing this out All right, I left it on there long enough. Just wanted to show you guys how I kept it just in a plastic bag, see? And it's put a silk cap on it, so it's very, very wet still. So it's time to rinse it out. And then I will be doing another conditioner and then styling it. So soft. Olaplex does make it soft. I like how the Olaplex smells. So I remember I put the Olaplex three and five in there. The tips are really nice and soft. So that's my main concern because I hate when my tips are really hard. So that's good. Oh, that feels good.
Boy, when I put that VO gel in my hair, I can feel a difference and it smells really good. I like that. Like, I think that's right up there with the Olaplex. That one, you can feel the difference instantly when you put it in your hair. Don't despair, repair. I like that quote. All right, so I got this Camila Rose flaxseed gel. And then I bought this other thing that Camila Rose had. It was like a leave-in conditioner. I've never used it before, but I was like, oh, the bottle kind of reminds me of the Kinky Curly. So I've never used this. Might not use it today because it has rosemary oil. That's good. But I'm definitely going to put this um, a guava mushroom and everything flaxseed healthy gel. And sometimes I mix it with the good cheapo $3 gel. This never flakes up. And then another gel I used to use a lot was the Kinky Curly Clustered. This is special occasions. It doesn't really make my curls last for a long time, my wash day, but it makes my curls look delicious and curly and my hair more fuller. So it's kind of like if I want that day two or day three look, I would put this in the shine. And then if I just do my hair like on a regular basis i always use this gel but today i'm going to mix her up with this just a little bit these two are the combos and then i'm gonna spray this in the hair and that's about it yeah that's about it y'all so i like to apply it like in the shower because if the gel gets on me i use the section off my hair i don't do none of that no more like, I must take a long time brushing my hair, but when it comes styling it, uh, no, I don't take a long time. I don't, it don't take me that long. So, I start with the front first, because for some reason my front always dries up faster. So I just brush the gel through, and it makes it look like I got mixed girl hair, but no, don't get it twisted, honey. I do not have that type of hair, but this gel, because I apply a good amount of it on there. It really, I like when the curls are really clunky and thick. I don't know, I like when they stick together. That's how I know my wash day is successful. But now I have like three different curl types in my hair. I have a lot of waves going on. Now that my hair is a lot longer. Hey baby. My hair is a lot longer, it's weighing it down. So, there we go. Ooh, look at her. Dang, okay. Got some lift going on. Don't mess with that, please. This one, I'm gonna just separate it. I need that, Shakai. See how fast that is just to do the half head? When you have a successful, like, good wash day, and your hair is super clean and detangled, it just makes the styling process, like, so freaking easy. I used to have a hard time styling it because I couldn't detangle the hair. So I got a little method now. Do it all in the shower so the mess can just go in the shower. And then I rinse my back off and everything off one more last time. Now my hair is not completely detangled, y'all. I still leave knots in there, you know? I'm not like trying to flat iron it or anything. So it's not like completely, you know, straight. All the tangles are out and stuff. Like it's stuff in there still, but not as bad. Like when I could go like that easily, I'm in the good. So I'm still applying the gel, the cheapo jelly gel, the OG gel. <laughs> and then I'll go over with the other gel, more on the tips. Cause as you see, I'm applying this more to the root and just pushing it down. And no, I don't use a dryer or nothing like that. Like I really try to not use heat. Oh, 
front is getting really long. I'm gonna have to give it some more layers. Layers grew out already. I only cut my hair about three times a year. I put heat in my hair maybe like twice. And I do it myself. I don't go to the salon. Eventually I do, because I really want to like see what it looked like, you know, now that I got it almost at the length I really want. My goal is waist length hair. So I think I still have three to five more years to get it there. Be great if I can get it there sooner. I hold the hair as I brush it sometimes because it prevents pulling from the scalp. Ugh, this piece is a rough piece. So that's why you always see me holding the hair. You know, when I had shorter hair, I would try to hold it. A lot of hairstylists told me to do that. And I'm tender headed now a little bit because I really haven't done any manipulation to my hair or tight ponytails or tight braids. All right, so this is the frizzy piece left. Oh, it's kind of bulky. If it's big knots, I don't try to drag it through one way. I go in, push, in, push and push and just slowly kind of work its way down just sort of like dragging it down all right why i love my curly hair it just shows people ask me questions like that like how did you do it from wearing weaves for so many years and now you got your hair out of the length and your hair looks better than the weave? And it was just like really money wise. Like I needed to figure out how to save money and it was just like leave my hair alone. You know what I mean? Like that was the way I can save money and learn what products work for my hair, you know, and being patient. And then taking the appropriate vitamins, drinking the, the right amount of water, like all that went in hand of getting this hair length, you know? All right, so now that I got it evenly throughout the hair, I kind of just break it up a little bit. This has a really great smell, you guys, because it has what does it have that makes it smell so good oh guava but it should have some lavender in it i don't know this smells amazing the first four ingredients is coconut and of course water uh aloe vera i like that and uh leaf juice interesting castor oil seed oil so Corn starch and gum is what I don't know why they eat that in there. But.
All right, finally applied it through there evenly. Just finger detangle it. next day it still looks wet that's why I like you know about the Camila Rose that um gel that I put it in there you see it still makes it shiny but it's completely dry and this is usually how I like to wear my hair uh, I was thinking about doing the layers to make it look more fuller but for right now I'm going for length and I put a lot of product a lot of gel in it because I wanted to weigh it down and get rid of the frizz you see, my hair is more wavier than curly. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love doing videos like this. Hit that subscribe button right there and give this video a thumbs up and watch more of my videos.